the new way to order through the designer marketplace is actually quite fantastic. Um, everything here, if you go to the, the website, it's got everything on it in one place. So the Pottery Barn, the West Elm, the Williams Sonoma, the Williams Sonoma Home, it's all there. You can see what tier that you're getting with your discount, you know, if you're spending certain amounts or higher amounts, you're getting a, a larger discount um, with them. But it's very simple just to use one username and password to log in. You can do this on a vacation, you can do it anywhere, you don't have to get a fax confirmation, and like Julie was saying, it applies your discount in there, takes off the tax, and you're done. I mean, honestly, the way that the system was before, we wouldn't order through the designer program. We would just go into the store, forget about the discount, because it was faster to do. But this new system is fantastic. I've used it myself. Um, I ordered lampshades, click, 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 done. And it's, it, it's fantastic. So uh, one thing I would definitely say, I know there's a lot of hands, um, is don't put up full pictures of rooms. Once things are on the blog and on Facebook, editors do not want the content anymore. But put up a corner of the room or something that you're doing all day. But be, once it's been on a blog and then you know someone else has captured it and taken it to another blog, it's dead information. I've seen a lot of other designers out there that have had things featured on their blog and they've put their whole bedrooms or, or their whole houses on their blog and then they go to show it to an editor and the editor says, well, it's already been on your blog and then such and such blog took it away and it's been on that blog and then I went to another blog and it's been on Facebook so it's already been oversaturated. So I put little snippets of my day of I'm going to shop for boxwoods. There's boxwood in the back of my car right now and I'm going to a client's house after that, after this to install it. Or, I'm installing grass cloth. So just a little snippet. I think it keeps people interested. Um, you know, I personally do not um, use email um, newsletters. Um, I think for me, the blog is something that's just um, been out there. If I have something that's a really good piece of publicity, I will generally go out and buy you know 50 copies of the magazine and send a handwritten note. Um, you know, with a piece of ribbon in the middle of where the article is to the client directly or to a vendor or someone that I want to see. I think for me, like that is something that someone can hold and we're talking about social media and how the world is changing, but I think there's things like that to me, like a, a newsletter that kind of gets lost and I think how many times do we not get a thank you note in the, in the mail or or a physical magazine, so sometimes it's nice to go the opposite direction of just sending something like that out to a client. It's not that there's just like a computer at House Beautiful and it's like putting out their own information. There's someone actually behind that computer and so if you're putting something on Twitter and then House Beautiful, for example, is looking at it and then you're in a conversation with somebody on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, there's, like I said, someone behind that computer and that's what you're trying to get at. So if you're you know, following someone's blog or, or Twitter or Facebook account, there, there is someone behind the computer and if you can have a conversation with them on Twitter or Facebook or what have you, um, you can start to form relationships and it's been very successful for me in getting published 